I would like to welcome you to the Community College of Baltimore County, and I would like to welcome you to DCOM 258, Introduction to Information Security. My name is Dan Whitaker, and I will be your instructor in this online course. In this course introduction, we will cover the purpose of the class, the topics that we will be covering, grading, the format of the class, and what you need to do to get started. Let's start out with the purpose of the class. The purpose of the course is to enable the student, to enable you to identify security threats and to implement security procedures and practice which mitigate those security threats. This course is also designed to help students prepare for the Security Plus certification exam. More on that later. And this course is a required course in the cyber security program. Now let's look at the topics that we will be covering. And if we look at the table of contents in our textbook, we will see we have 18 chapters from computer systems security to operating systems hardening to application security to physical security to access control methods all the way to policies and procedures. The textbook is available at the CCBC bookstore and it's important to buy the textbook because it contains the digital product voucher in the back of the textbook. And you do that so you can register with PearsonITCertification.com and then after you register with PearsonITCertification.com then you can access the chapter review quizzes which are located on Pearson Test prep.com. More on this later. Now let's discuss the format of the class. For each chapter, you have four things to do. One, read the chapter in the textbook. Now, this can be difficult reading, especially if this is your first time through with this material. So please force yourself to read all the way through that chapter. Then watch the instructional videos. These are Professor Messer's lectures on security. Then you perform the hands-on exercises. These are simple, easy exercises designed to illustrate the main points. Note, you do not need to submit these exercises to me, but you should really do them because the project is based on the hands-on exercises. And then the last thing to do is to take the online review quizzes. They're multiple choice. You get unlimited tries. To access the review quizzes, you go to Pearson Test Prep, PearsonTestPrep.com. And assuming that you have logged in and that you have registered and you've activated the new product, you go down to the bottom left and to access the chapter review quizzes. Well, they call them exams. I call them chapter review quizzes. So you select exams and you select the chapter that you want to review, in this case chapter one, then you click on start. Then you will see you are presented with a group of questions which review chapter one. For example, this question says, what is another name for a malicious attacker? And I select black hat. So I go through all of these questions and I answer them and then when I am done, it shows me what I got right and what I got wrong, and an explanation. The chapter review quiz is multiple choice. You get unlimited tries. Note on the chapter review quiz. These quizzes are not calculated as part of your grade. But the questions on the exams are based on the chapter quizzes. So. In other words, these quizzes will help you prepare for the exams. So what you might want to do is take these quizzes again and again until you get a 100 on the chapter review quizzes, and that should prepare you for the exams. Now let's look at our schedule. For each chapter, for each week, we have 
either one or two chapters to do. The first week, we just do chapter one. The second week, we do chapters two and three. The next week is chapter four. The next week is chapter five. The week of February 25th, we do chapter 26. And then you have exam one, which covers chapters one through six. Exam one is taken online, at home, but you only can take it once. And you can do it any time that week. It's just do before the next week. Then the next week, we do chapters 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then we have exam number 2, which covers chapters 7 through 11. It's taken online at home. You can only take it one time. Take it any time that week. It just has to be done before the next week. And the next week, we do chapters 12 and 13. Then we have a one-week break for spring break. Then we have chapter 14. Next week is chapter 15 and 16. Then we have chapter 17 and 18. And then exam week is when you take the final exam. You can take the final exam anytime during exam week. It's just got to be taken at a CCBC testing center. And then the final projects is due the very last day of the semester, May 19th. Grading. Your grade is based on four criteria. Exam 1 is 25% of your grade. Exam 2 is 30% of your grade. Exam number 3, the final exam is 35% of your grade, and the project is 10% of the grade. Almost all of this course can be done online, except for the final exam. Final exam has to be done at a CCBC testing center, so please, Remember to make an appointment with the testing center one week, or better yet, two weeks before you want to take the exam at the testing center during exam week. So, in summary, we discussed the purpose of the course, and we saw that the purpose of the course is to enable students to keep an operating system secure. And then we saw that for each chapter, you got four things to do. Read the chapter in the textbook, watch the videos, perform the hands-on exercises, and take the online review quizzes. If anybody has any problems or any questions, please email me, or if you see any errors in the course, let me know so I can fix them. What to do next? Next thing you should do is go to the CCB bookstore, buy the textbook, and that has the product voucher in the back of the textbook, which you use to access the review quizzes. Now, redeeming the product voucher can be a little tricky because there are quite a few steps required. First, you go to PearsonITCertification.com. You create an account. You register the product using the ISBN. You enter the digital product voucher, which is in the back of the book, and then you receive an access code. Then you go to PearsonTestPrep.com and you enter that access code and then you can have access to the review quizzes. The instructions for all of these steps are in the back of the book with the digital product voucher. And if you get stuck, you can contact Pearson's technical assistance at PearsonITCertification.com slash about slash contact us. And this concludes our course introduction. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.